All right, welcome to another episode from The Chart Readers. Hey, it's a good day to talk about this one because like I said, if you watched yesterday's video, it was very, very much bounce or die, all right? And and a, a, like there was no exaggeration in it, all right? And luckily, this took the better side of the coin, obviously, as you can see, right? But we'll talk about it shortly. You know I don't care about a single day. I need confirmation and follow through. Tomorrow's gonna matter more than today did, don't get me wrong, but I'm glad it did what it did. My wife's right here giving me water. Say hi to everyone. Hi, everyone. Thank you, you for listening. There you go. Um, so yeah, again, good, good day to talk about it because yeah, it would have been, I think, even uglier than it was good today if it went the wrong way, okay? Um, the other one I'm going to talk about is Mullen, and I don't think Mullen closed as well as it opened. Um, it for sure caught my eye this morning. Um, again, I haven't made a move on Mullen just yet. I would love to, right? And I'll talk to you about what, what I need to happen for my hard-earned money. But um, yeah, both are, 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 are doing some interesting things. Both of them need a little bit more, all right? But before we go any further and I give you more of my thoughts and opinions, what are we gonna do? Same thing we always do, right? We'll take a look at the daily and the weekly to see how these things are setting up short-term. We have our five moving averages. There are horizontal support and resistance lines that I do draw manually myself, as well as the occasional diagonal trend line. And then when we are done up here, that's my cat in the background, we will use the MACD, RSI, and volume as our lower indicators. Hey, really quickly, if you can please subscribe to this channel, share this video online with your friends, comment good or bad. Look, anything you can do helps me so, so much with these YouTube algorithms, but for real, just being here and giving me your time is super, super appreciated, all right? So let's get into it. Look, AVTX, okay? Again, I'm gonna actually start this video the same way I started yesterday, all right? I am not here to spread fear. I am not here to you know, make you worry and panic and any of that. And at the same time, I am not here to be a fanboy and rah-rah something just because one day, all right? So it's, it's really both sides of those extremes that I really try to like hold myself to, all right? But if you watched yesterday's video, all right, this day-to-day -day is absolutely no surprise at all. All right, now, granted, did I know that this was gonna be the exact number and this and that? No, not really, right? But what I basically said was, we are at a bounce or die situation, all right? And what did that mean? I think it's easier to, to look at that on the weekly, all right? This nine cent line, all right, this is the, the last line between what we know and the black hole abyss of nothingness that is all time lows, all right? There is there is absolutely no price history, no candle, no, there's nothing below that nine cent line, all right? If, if, now coming back to the daily, if we lost this line, it, it was gonna be completely game over, it was. And we we were we were doing nothing but, again, don't, don't forget, right? We have one, two, three, four, five, we were under all five and that, that's where you die. And the stock easily went from 13 all the way down to nine. And again, this nine cent line, like you, I wish I had more decimals, it would be a little more perfect and stuff, right? But yeah, end of the day, we were in that nine cent realm already, right? So to me, the alarm bell was ringing, volume was getting way too low. Like there was just too much that, 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 that it was either going to lose this badly or do what it did today it bounced up right and again why did i believe that because look sorry i zoomed out too much we've used this once to survive we've used it once to fly and really that's about it since then okay in a lot of ways we did not use this line technically like it's not like we landed here and then went up right to me like I said, I was expecting it to either gap down and lose it or bounce up. Like I, it just, it, 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 it felt right. You know what I mean? I think that's one of those things where like, I just, you know, I've been doing this for a minute now, right? Not crazy long. Like I'm not like a 10 year vet or anything silly like that, but it only takes a couple of years and seeing a lot of the same stocks do the same thing over that 365 days times whatever, right? Or two, two something, I don't know how many without holidays and weekends, but blah, 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 right? So. 
So now what is the question, right? So um, here's the honest truth, all right? It's still a little too 50-50. And why is that? It's because of this candle shape. Look, if you watch my videos, I don't care what the four letters are on the stock, I always say it. If you have a doji, which is the, the shape of this candle, especially if you have a doji right on or near an important line, for example, the eight moving average, this, this, is a, this is a real, real, real big indication that we're gonna get a big movement one way or the other, all right? Now, a couple really positive things to at least say. We did close above the eight moving average and there's no question about it, right? Like the line is down here. We actually ended up closing here, which is beautiful. My cat's making some noises. Sorry, what are you doing? Don't do that, don't bite that. Oh my God. I think she's going to buy that one more time. We'll see. Um, but but what, what it normally tells me is, like I said, someone during the day thought we were running and going all the way up to the 50 and the 20 right here, right? Which I'll talk about these two lines shortly. Someone during the day thought, no, 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 this is a fake out. We actually deserve to be down here and heading back down. End of the day, it pretty much, and look, you can see it in the box over there. It opens at 11, closes at 11. The body kind of says it, it, it all. Like it doesn't move much in, in our, what, seven, eight hours of trading, right? There was so much uncertainty up, so much uncertainty down. We end right here. I'm actually focusing less on the 18% because look, 18% is a monster day. You know I love it when you make money, all right? And yeah, I hope this, this was a good day of a lot of pain the last two weeks, right? Nothing else to say about that. Um, I'm not wildly confident or excited yet. I think what's going to happen is we're, we're going to come to these two lines. I do think we're going to confirm up I think we have a shot at coming to this 13 range right here. Will we get into 14? I don't know. And essentially my question is, are we gonna break these two lines right here, right? It actually looks like, cause right, I wish I had more decimals, but like this 50 average line is pretty much on like 0 0.1300. Like it is as low to the 12, 13 cent line conversion as I can see with two decimals, right? This thing is pretty much staying flat and that 20 is coming down. So I can see 13 being the magic number for tomorrow. And look, again, it only takes a couple percents for this thing to go up at 11 cents, roughly speaking, 1.1 1 .1 is is 10%, right? So go up two cents and you're, you're going up almost 20 again, right? So um, will we break these two lines? I don't know. And again, I don't know if you watched the FNGR part, we had a place where I knew we were going to bounce up, but I wasn't sure if we were going to break these two lines. We obviously broke them and then some on a single day, but couldn't confirm, right? Maybe, maybe that's the AV. I, I will be honest. I have to lean on. I don't think we're breaking 13. I, I did say, I think we'll get there. And someone in the comments definitely said, hey, I'll adjust my stop losses. You know I'm not here to tell you what to do with your money, but my man, I hope today was beautiful because you hopefully did not sell too early. You let you let the bouncer die do it, right? And again, he I don't talk about stop losses much, but yeah, I got to guess he had it at a very, very tight, you know, low nine, high eight, right? And knock on wood, there was not even a wick fake out, right? So um, yeah, that's, 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 you know, I'm not here to give you financial advice, but when a educated people talk about and do some interesting things. It's, it's, it's a good thing, right? But I have to lean on these two lines not breaking, all right? And, and I think a lot of it just really is like, look, this 50 moving average has been no joke, all right? Again, we've, we've tested it a bunch of times. And hey, maybe in some ways, like it's, it's ready for it, but I don't know. I think I still need a little bit more to be proven. I do believe if this closes around 14 cents, okay? My, my overall, I don't wanna use the word bias, right? Because bias is not the word, but my overall pessimistic opinions will change substantially, all right? If you can get me over this cluster of three, because it's what, it's what I was doing right here when I first like, got into it. Break the eight, go to the 20. Break the 20, go to the 50. Break the 50 and go to the 100. There's a beautiful gap between there, here and there, right? Now, 
it's way too silly to have 50 cent dreams. It's way too silly to have 35 cent dreams. It is still way too silly to have 20 cent dreams. But get me to 14 and I'll start having some 20 cent dreams. And then we'll see what happens there and then maybe we'll start talking about 35. We'll see what happens there and then maybe, right? Like slow and steady is okay, all right? Hey, someone in the comments yesterday, and bro, I gotta learn your name because you've been really loud on this stock and I'm glad you're part of the group here, all right? But yeah, he actually said earnings are, are, are right around the corner for AVTX. So one of the things I mentioned in the last video was someone said that like news was gonna come soon. Someone said it was December. It really looks like soon is actually the case, right? So. Um, personally, personally, I am scared and I, I use that word very, very honestly. Like I'm scared holding it to earnings. It's a dangerous move in, in my opinion, all right? But let's see what happens around 14 cents. That's, that's kind of what I'm looking for here, all right? So um, I'll quickly look at the weekly, but I don't think the weekly matters much, all right? Hey, this is actually kind of saying, just looking at this, 12 cents is not gonna be easy to get over. Okay, because that's the eight right now down here. Clearly, we're under it. Um, so I think I, I I think that echo is my like. I don't know if thirteen is gonna break just yet, but hey, let's see it, and then we'll start talking from there. Fourteen's my my money line here. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. Otherwise, let's take a look at Mullen. Mullen. All right, listen to me. Mullen is 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 close. All right. I actually was pretty bullish on this video. If you go back to my 26 video, I really was. But the one thing I kept saying was, we're not in a good market condition. All right, we're not. One of the problems, it's getting a little bit better maybe, all right, maybe. But we're still basically like trying to recover from the 20 moving average. We're still trying to get over the eight moving average on the NASDAQ. Now look, if NASDAQ has a good day tomorrow, there's a decent red, 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 red to green, 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 all right? And maybe a good NASDAQ can help Mullen do some good things, all right? That said, as long as NASDAQ's not doing well, it's gonna be hard for tech stocks to do well, and that's obviously what Mullen is, all right? The other thing to talk about is just the volume, all right? It's definitely not good to go big drop, big drop. This is relatively big, it's not giant, we're still under the 50 average, right? But um, we definitely want volume to hold, right? And overall, there's definitely a, a it's going down, right? Like that's, a, that's an easy thing to say. But look, the one thing I've been saying is if we can get over the eight moving average, there's a reason to believe we'll get to the 20. If we can get over the 20, there's a reason to believe we'll get to the 50. I think I would rather trade the 50 to the 100, okay? What is a little interesting is now we've actually made a decent little spacing between this eight and the 20, all right? So let me just kind of come back. The eight, you can see in the box over there, is sitting at 27 cents, and the 20 is sitting at 35. Roughly calling three cents, 10%, that is actually a 30% move there, all right? So, um, damn. Where's 28 at? I'm gonna set a 28 cent alert. I'm not gonna lie. I think I'd like to know Mullen at 28 cents. Let's see if it can climb its way up to the 35. So I think I would not mind knowing that actually. Um, otherwise, what's Mullen gonna do? Yeah, this is a beautiful view, all right? You fall away from the eight, you come to the eight. You fall away from the eight, you come to the eight. You fall away from the eight, you come to the eight. Maybe you can get over the 20 you probably won't do much more than that. We've fallen away from the eight, we got close. We fell away, we came close. We fell away, we came close. We fell away, hey, maybe this is gonna be where we try to break it and make our way there, all right? From there, just look, just look. Ever since February of this year, we've never even touched, never even touched the red 50 moving average line, all right? It took one, two, three in a bunch, four-ish, five in a bunch, just to get to under the 20 still. Like we've literally attacked this thing more than five separate attacks and we're still below it, all right? So breaking the 50 will not be easy at all, all right? So don't underestimate that line by any means. Don't under, well, don't underestimate that line by any means. And again, don't forget what the eight is. All we do is go under and go back. 
go under, go back. Occasional moment, but under and back, 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 right? Like that's all this thing does until it can prove something better. All right, set your criteria a little bit higher and you'll, you'll, good things will happen. All right, so I'll look at the weekly real quick, but I don't think that there's too, too much. Yeah, again, this thing's kind of saying maybe I want to come to the back to the eight, right? It goes away, comes back, goes away, maybe wants to come back. But yeah, I think, I think it's hard to believe we'll go over 44 cents. Um, yeah, again, I don't think we're going to go over the 50. So I think that makes sense on both the daily and the weekly, right? So yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions. Otherwise, as always, you know it. I appreciate your time.